so now let us find out the differential coefficient of the rest of the trigonometric ratios tan x cot x secant x and cosecant x so let us find out first the differential coefficient of tan x so let us suppose f of x is equal to given function is tan x function so f of x plus h this is tan of x plus h that means in the place of x x plus h dy by dx is equal to we know that limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h replace the values so limit h tends to 0 tan of x plus h minus f of x is nothing but tan x function by h so for our convenience this can be rewritten as limit h tends to 0 1 by h into tan of x plus h minus tan x. So, from trigonometry we know tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. That means, let us change first term and second term in terms of sin ratio and cosine ratio. So, limit h tends to 0 1 by h into sin of x plus h by cos of x plus h minus sin x by cos x. Okay. Let us simplify it. This is equal to limit h tends to 0 1 by h. Here LCM is cos of x plus h into cos x sin of x plus h into cos x minus cos of x plus h into sin x. Now, just observe the numerator sin a cos b minus cos a sin b that is sin of a minus b. So, limit h tends to 0 1 by h sin of x plus h minus x by cos of x plus h into cos x x x gets cancelled. So, we have limit h tends to 0 1 by h into sin h by cos of x plus h into cos x. Okay, now, this can be written as the limit h tends to 0 sin h by h into limit h tends to 0 1 by cos of x plus h into cos x. This is 1. So, 1 multiplied by 1 by cos x plus 0 into cos x. Now, this is equal to 1 by cos x into cos x, 1 by cos square x. See 1 by cos x is we know secant x, 1 by cos square x is secant square x. So, d by dx of tan x, derivative of tan x is secant square x. derivative of tan x with respect to x is secant square x. 
let us find out the derivative of the cot cortex. Let f of x is equal to cot x. Find f of x plus h. This is cot of x plus h. By definition, first principles or by definition, dy by dx or f dash x. Limit h tends to zero. F of x plus h minus f of x by h. Now, limit h tends to zero. Cot of x plus h minus cot x by h. For our convenience, 1 by h limit h tends to 0 cot of x plus h. Sorry, this is limit h tends to 0 1 by h into minus cot x. So, let us change cortex in terms of cos and sin. So, limit h tends to 0 1 by h into cos of x plus h by sin of x plus h minus cos x by sin x. So, now This can be simplified limit h tends to 0 1 by h into here LCM sin of x plus h into sin x. Now, this becomes cos of x plus h sin x minus sin of x plus h cos x. Just observe the numerator sin a cos b minus cos a sin b sin of a minus b. So, limit h tends to 0 1 by h into sin of x minus x minus h by sin of x plus h into sin x, x x cancel. Limit h tends to 0 1 by h into sin of minus h by sin of x plus h into sin x. Sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So, this we can write limit h tends to 0 minus sin h into here by h into 1 by sin of x plus h into sin x we can write. Now, this limit is applied to this function as well as this function. Now, minus common limit h tends to 0 sin h by h into limit h tends to 0 1 by sin of x plus h into sin x. sin theta by theta, theta tends to 0. This is 1, but minus is there. Minus 1 into 1 by sin of x plus 0 into sin x. Now, this becomes see minus 1 by sin x into sin x. 
minus 1 by sin square x. What is 1 by sin x? Cosecant x. What is 1 by sin square x? Cosecant square x. What is minus 1 by sin square x? Minus cosecant square x. So, this is equal to minus cosecant square x. So, therefore, d by dx of cot x is minus cosecant square x. 